higher. In this tutorial, we will see the middle redux middle wire in action. So let's see how can we use the redux middle wire to handle the asynchronous task. The mole purpose, the main purpose of the uh, middle wire is to handle the asynchronous task. But we can do many things beside the asynchronous task. Actually, the middle wire is used to handle the side effects because the regular uh, Redux cannot handle the asynchronous task. So that asynchronous task will be handled by the middle wire. So let's see in our project. In our last tutorial, we saw that we create two, com uh, two slice, combining by slice, creating multiple slice and using the and using the combined reducer to combine multiple slices into a single slice, single reducer. Now, actually here we use multiple reducer. Uh, we can use single file to modular or code little bit cleaner. So let's see how can we do that. For that, let's go to the slice. I am creating new file actually. Let's go to the product at first user. We have three. Th three uh, actually, this request is same for the board request. So let's go to direct to the middle wire section. In our app, uh, 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 create reducer function. First argument is the reducer, and second argument is the middle wire. So let's create a middle wire. For that, I have to use the apply middleware function from the redux store and inside this function i have to pass the middleware for example i have to go, uh, give the name for logger let's create the middleware here Redux middleware is a closure, three level nested. But this closure also known as a carry technique or also known as a middleware. If you are working, if you have worked with the library like Express, then you will be familiar with the middleware concept. In Express, we see, we, we, we can see that when we pass something in one middle wire, then the other middle wire can be get that value from uh, in from the other in from the previous middle wire or previous function. So same goes here. It is called carry technique, which is actually a closure. Now. Why we need this closure? Actually, the closure is uh, actually the if we need multiple function. For example, I have a function a, b, and c. So instead of doing so, uh, the carry technique is used that every uh, argument will uh, will be handled by a separate function. So that is the something like this. F n. actually it will be fn and inside that fn uh, we create another function two and inside this function we create another function and every function returns something r e t returns something and this function also will be written and this function will all again return return and finally we will use this function as our function so this is the simple simple syntax for this kind of nested function 
this tutorial is not about the closure so i am not going to the closure and i will do not have to discuss the curry technique it will be completely different topic so when we need to create a middle layer we have to pass these three function and every function has a property for first argument has a store a store this store is the same for a store this this store that means uh, in a store we have the actually uh, we have the uh, for for, uh, for at a uh, method to handle our state so in our in our uh, middle layer first argument is the store and second argument is next again if we work with next application uh, uh, express js then we saw that when we pass something from one middle layer to another middle layer we have to call this something like this next next and as if we do not pass the next command then uh, execute the next function then our value from the this function will do not pass to the next function same goes here so the second method a second argument is the next and third argument is the action so if i have to pass the action here if i do not pass the action here let's say console log the action then if i have the dispatch something actually i do not have let's uh, dispatch one thing let's comment out from here now i i am going to dispatch something so as in our earlier tutorial we saw then when we dispatch something our state value changes and our subscribe method triggers because we know the subscribe method triggers when our state value change uh, store value changes or state changes so but this time even though we pass the dispatch our store value will be will not change because in the middle wire we do not allow to go to the redux store because in our earlier tutorial we sh saw saw we have seen that to pass the value of one function to another function we use a concept called uh, pipe function so redux store works the same way when we dispatch something from this state uh, this dispatch method that value that value will be in the middle wire and when we pass through that middle wire then the function will be go to the reducer method a reducer function so if i do not pass let's see i can see that my store value do not shown here because my, I, I am not passing the uh, action go uh, from the redux middle layer so if i allow to pass the middle layer from here now this time i can see my uh, uh, update value shows here so the this is the concept of the middle layer actually uh, we have we will do even something more let's move our middle layer into separate file so that it will do not mix with the redux store anymore so let's create another file called middle layer actually middle layer folder and then logger.js and put the here and i have to export exports the logger and in the store i have to import the logger here middleware slash logger now if i save my file i can see it works if i 
good actually let's comment uh, no need this method anymore user and the product so if i comment out or if i block from this action our dispatch do not pass and when i uncomment or pass from the logger middleware i can see my dispatch go to go to uh, reducer function via the logger middleware now let's create another middleware let's go to this section uh, if i try we know that let's put here and pass the something now when we try to dispatch something we know that we must dispatch an object if we pass and function inside this dispatch it will throw an error let's let's see if i try to pass something like something like this it will throw error because our dispatch method do not allow the function but we know that in javascript functions are higher order component so we can use function everywhere so why cannot we pass use this function in my dispatch handler uh, dispatch argument if i save my file it will throw error because it uh, it require the object uh, now it says that action must be an plain object but i am passing the function so let's see how can we solve this problem by our middleware so let's create another middleware for that uh, this middleware is uh, just for some uh, checking and let's create another middleware this middleware we will name as a dispatch function so let's dispatch fn dot js now again constant dispatch fs it will be theory function and first argument will be the store second argument will be the next and third argument will be the action so i have to pass next and i have to pass the action now i have to export this function and i have to use that function in our actually store in here so i have to it will be fn uh, dispatch fn now we can see i have imported two functions now let's create uh, if i save my file it will still throw error because i do not handle the error yet so let's go to the dispatch function this time we will check if this action is a function then we will convert this function into object and then we pass that object to the reducer reducer function to update our redux state so for that i have to if type of action is equal to function then return next and inside next i am going to call the function because this action is a function so if i pass this way it will throw error because it says that action is a function i cannot pass the action so i have to call the function this way now when we call this function this is not a function anymore this is the return value so return value will be the uh, object because in our app we pass the object we pass the return value as object so this will be an object but 
in the action to handle our action we need two properties one is the dispatch another one is the estate so i have a store so let's dis uh, destructure this store first will be this p this p a this dispatch another one get estate now pass this function here estate now if i save my file let's take a space if i save my file now this time i can see it do not throw the error anymore now by because of this middle wire we have the ability to pass function inside a dispatch method now if i pass dispatch method this way it will be handled by the this section and if i pass middle wire like this uh, object uh, function style it will be handled by the this section now our middle wire works fine now in, in our a store we have multiple middle wire. suppose uh, if i if i have multiple middle wire, we do not need to import multiple files from here so let's reduce our code little bit cleaner so for that in the reduce a uh, middle wire function i will create a index.js file and inside this index file i will import uh, it will be first one let's import first one is a logger middleware logger r e v q u i r e require it will be logger and second one will be dispatch fn it will be from the dispatch fn and now i will export export from here logger dispatch function now in my app i do not need to import from multiple place so i i can import like this way logger dispatch function require middleware now i can remove this two line now i can see our code is lot more simpler though it is a two line but when we use our project there then if it has a 10 line our 10 import this import will be lot more simpler if i save my file actually it's middleware api middleware is not a function let's go to the index dispatch function uh, let's see the problem let's console log the hot gateway middleware let's comment out this line i no need to go to the fixing the bug for now so now we understand the middleware concept so in our next tutorial we will discuss about redux toolkit instead of this hard coding because in our redux toolkit we already have this kind of middleware setup already so and another one when we create our redux store from this store and in our front end we cannot use the redux dev tool because in dev tool we need to install separate package and again when we use the asynchronous task uh, for example uh, create async thang then we have to install that library and use and have to use the here as a middleware but in our uh, redux dev tool we have everything 
configured or installed so we and again in our regular javascript regular redux reducer if i go to my user reducer or product reducer we have to write this type of boilerplate code available again and again so it is a simple example that is the reason our code is three line but in our real application it will be real mass and if you if you look to between these two middleware you can see that the code is almost identical is something are changing so we do not need to create this multiple boilerplate code because redux toolkit will handle everything by their self so we will uh, we will see that how can we improve our this code by the by the redux dev tool or redux toolkit so let's see in the next tutorial